Okay, so this is uh, Reynolds number. How do we relate a uh, Reynolds number dun sa major losses, uh, especially yun sa Darcy uh, way back? So Reynolds number can be computed as, this is Reynolds number is equal to, this is the velocity, diameter of the pipe, density divided by the absolute uh, viscosity. So yung B na to is basically the uh, mean velocity Okay, this is the pipe diameter. Then we have, this is the absolute or the dynamic viscosity. So we say uh, viscosity kung gaano kalapot yung uh, liquid. So, Usually kapag Reynolds number ang involved, uh, hindi too big yung kinoconsider na uh, liquid. So this is uh, the mean velocity, pipe diameter, uh, alam naman natin yung rod, this density, the uh, absolute or the dynamic uh, viscosity. So you have the other type, uh, usually kapag uh, absolute viscosity or dynamic viscosity, ang unit nito ay nasa pascal uh, second. While we have the kinematic viscosity, For the kinematic viscosity, ito naman yung uh, new that is equal to uh, the absolute viscosity divided by the density. So, minsan yung formula ng Reynolds number, R sub E, is the same as the velocity, pipe diameter, density, or kung itatanggalin natin yung density na to, this is divided by the uh, kinematic uh, viscosity. So usually the unit ng kinematic viscosity, this is uh, usually in centimeters squared per second or this is the same as the stokes or stoke or pwede rin naman na uh, square meter per second, pwede rin naman na uh, feet squared per uh, second. So that is yeah, kinematic viscosity. So if you are to uh, generalize, ano ba yung purpose ng Reynolds number is to identify whether, whether the flow in a pipe is a laminar flow, laminar flow or a turbulent uh, flow. So, for example, if the Reynolds number is uh, less than 2,000, this is considered to be a uh, laminar. While yung uh, RE naman, if greater than uh, 2,000, this is considered as a turbulent. Pero in actual or in sa other references, they are considering minsan sa actual uh, uh, that the Reynolds number is uh, if the Reynolds number is greater than 4,000, that is the actual after billion flow. Kasi parang sinasabi nila na yung from 2,000 to uh, 4,000 ito yung range na tinatawag na transition. Okay? The transition from uh, from laminar flow to after billion flow. So let's have an example. So let's have an example. Okay. Crude oil having a density of 856 kg per cubic meter and absolute viscosity of 72 times 10 raised to negative 4 pascal second. Flows in a 75 mm diameter pipe, 1250 meters long at the rate of 0.12 uh, meter per uh, second. So we have a uh, base given. And we have the density is equal to 856 kilograms per cubic uh, meter. We have, this is an absolute viscosity, mu. Also, I hope na kanina sa inyo yung dalawang letter kanina. This is mu, ito naman is nu. Parang letter M, letter N sa Greek alphabet. Okay? So, mu is the absolute viscosity. We have mu is equal to 72 times 10 raised to negative 4 since the unit is pascal second. Okay? Then we have the length of the pipe is equal to 1,250 meters when the velocity is equal to 0 0.12 meter per uh, second. So first question, or lagay rin natin yung diameter ng pipe equal to 75 M, M, M. Alright, so let us I 
For the first requirement, what is the value of the Reynolds number? So Reynolds number is equal to velocity, diameter, density divided by the absolute uh, viscosity. We have the Reynolds number, okay, mean velocity given sa 0. Okay, 0 0.12. Okay, we have the diameter is 75 mm or 7.5 cm or pareho lang sa 0 0.0 75 meter. Density is equal to 856. So this is divided by Absolute viscosity, viscosity is a little times 10 raised to negative uh, 4. So let us compute for the Reynolds number. Okay, so we have a Reynolds number equal to 1070. So this is uh, less than 2,000, it is considered to be a okay, laminar, a laminar flow. Okay. So what is the next requirement? So this requirement is what is the friction uh, factor. So for the friction factor, what is this applicable for a laminar flow? Okay, the friction factor is equal to, this is 64 divided by the Reynolds number. Okay, that is the friction factor for Darcy way back. So you have the friction factors are equal to 64, this is divided by 1070. So meron tayong friction factor equal to? Okay, so we can have it as 0. As 0. Uh, pwede na siguro yung 0.06 So 64 divided by 1070 Alright, so we have 0 0.06 And yung last requirement Yung last requirement dito is the head loss Alright, so what is the head loss for Darcy Wave Bank? That is 8 sub F So we have the head loss Okay, since velocity naman yung given, I can use the formula of the head loss in terms of the velocity. That is, the friction factor L over D multiplied by the velocity head. So we have, this is H sub F is equal to 0 0.06. The length of the pipe, binigay siya as 1,250 meters divided by the pipe diameter. So na yun? That is 0 0.075. Velocity is 0 0.12 squared divided by twice of 9.81. So we have the head loss. Okay, so we have the head loss equal to 0. 0.734 meters. Yeah. So that will be our answer. And so still on major losses. So this time we are to apply uh, head loss in pipes in the analysis of uh, rational work. So, 1,200 millimeter diameter concrete pipe. So, let's say that is uh, pipe number one. 1,800 meters long carries a discharge of 1,350 liters per second. From reservoir A, whose water surface is at elevation uh, 50 uh, meters. And discharges into two concrete uh, pipes, each 1,350 meters long and 750 millimeters in diameter. So one of the one of the 750 mm diameter pipe discharges into reservoir B in which the water surface is at uh, elevation of 44 meters. So dito, we have discharge number one, let's say this is Q1, and dito, na indicate na yung flow is towards uh, this, uh, towards reservoir B, let's say discharge uh, number 2. 
in which water surface is elevation 44 meters. So determine the elevation of water surface at reservoir C in which, into which the other 750 mm diameter pipe is flowing. Assume F is equal to 0 0.02 for all pipes. So this is others the way back. When it comes to reservoir analysis, Okay, dito sa analysis ng reservoir, uh, usually ang mahirap i-identify is yung direction of flow towards dun sa reservoir in between. So I say uh, in between, in between the highest and the lowest uh, reservoir. So we are looking for the elevation of reservoir C. Pero sinabi niya dito, one of the 750 mm diameter pipe discharges into reservoir B. Okay, so alam natin yung direction that is towards our reservoir B. So we are required to determine the elevation of reservoir as C. Okay, so let us uh, create the equivalent energy diagram for the flow. So let's say this is the junction, this is pipe number 1. So since okay, we are supplying, our okay, reservoir A is supplying the flow, so we assume that the energy head should be the energy head at the junction, let's say junction D, yung energy head D to dapat mas mababa, it is lower than the reservoir A since we are supplying to that uh, we are supplying to that point. So this is I'll say this is for pipe number one, ilalagay ko siya as a head loss, head loss number one. Okay, then six. We are supplying to reservoir B from this point, i-assume natin na nandito yung kanyang energy head since uh, reservoir A is supplying uh, reservoir B. So again, we draw a horizontal line. Then this is the energy grade line towards the surface of reservoir, uh, reservoir B. So that will be the head loss and the head loss for pipe number 2. If you are to recall our previous discussion, so lagi nyo isipin that the difference in elevation between two reservoirs is always the head loss. So the difference in elevation between A and B will be the total head loss. How many head losses? So since how many pipes from A to B? We have two pipes, so therefore we have head loss 1 and head loss number 2. So, kung gagawa natin ng equation yung head loss na to, uh, head losses 1 and 2, head loss 1, okay, so this head loss 1, so dapat yung energy head kay point D ay mas mataas dahil lang susupply tayo, pero just in case na papalabas yung flow from B, the energy head should be lower. Okay, so head loss 1 plus head loss 2. Sabi natin, that will be the same as the difference in elevation. That is, uh, 50 minus 44. So you have head loss 1 plus head loss number 2 is equal to 6 meters. Given kanina, given sa problem, discharge number 1 is equal to 1,350 liters per second. Or discharge number 1 is 1.35. Uh, cubic meter per second. So, anong gagawin natin dyan? So, we are assuming that we are also supplying discharge number 3. Supplying, sabi naman niya din sa problem, flowing into a uh, reservoir C doon sa other pipe. Okay, the other 750 millimeter pipe. So, yung continuity equation natin dito will be discharge 1 will be equal to discharge 2 plus Discharge number 3. Reservoir A is supplying the two reservoirs. So, can we determine head loss number 1? Kasi meron naman tayong discharge number 1. Okay, from Darcy way back, head loss, go to point 0, 0.08, 2, 6. Friction factor, the length, discharge squared, divided by the diameter raised to, okay, raised to 5. Okay? So we have, this is head loss number 1 is equal to 0 0.0826 0 0.0826 uh, Friction factor is 0 0.02 Ano yung length ni pipeline number 1? That is equal to 1000 
800. What is the discharge of pipeline number one? 1.35. This is squared. Okay, divided by diameter of pipeline number one is 1,200 mm or 1.2 uh, meters. This 1.2 is 2, uh, 5. So let's have the value of head loss number one. So we have headless number 1 is equal to 2.178 meters. So anong gagawin natin sa headless number 1 na yan? So if we have this equation, okay, that will give us headless number 1 plus headless number 2 is equal to 6. This is 2.179, uh, 178. Okay, plus headless Number 2 is equal to 6. So, makukuha natin yung value ni head loss number 2. So, that is the same as 6 minus 2.178. Okay, is equal to 3 point? Ay, 3.822 meters. So, that will be the value of head loss number 2. So, what's next? Anong susunod kung meron tayong head loss number 2? Okay, so if we have headless number 2, makukuha natin si discharge number 2. Okay, so from the formula, we have headless number 2 is equal to 0 0.0826 friction factor length discharge number 2 squared. This is divided by the diameter raised to 5. Headless number 2 is equal to 3.822 equal to 0 0.0826 Friction factor for all pipes now is 0 0.02. What is the length of pipeline number 2? So, pipeline number 2 is 1,350 meters. Discharge number 2 squared divided by diameter of pipeline number 2 is 750 mm. This is 0 0.75 raised to, raised to 5. So, we have discharge number 2 equal to So, discharge number 2 is equal to 0 0.638 cubic meter per second. Okay, so what's next? Kapag meron na tayong discharge number 2, ano ang susunod? Balikan natin yung continuity equation. Q1 is equal to Q2 plus uh, Q3. So, this is discharge number 1 is equal to discharge number 2 plus discharge number 3. Do we have discharge 1? Given ito, 1.35. Discharge number 2, ito yan. We have 0 0.638 plus discharge number 3. Makuha natin yung discharge number 3. So, discharge number 3 is equal to 0 0.712 cubic meter per second. Okay, what's next? Ano sa sunod kung meron na tayong discharge Number 3 Okay, kung meron tayong discharge number 3 Obviously Makukumbita natin si head loss Number 3 So we have head loss Number 3 is equal to uh, This is uh, 0 0.08 26 Friction factor The length discharge number 3 Squared divided by the diameter Raised to, okay, raised to 5 Head loss number 3 natin okay, will be equal to that is 0 0.0826 0 0.02 Length of pipeline number 3 is the same as 1350 okay, Discharge number 3 is 0 0.712 squared This is the divided by diameter nya is 750 This is the same as 0 0.75 raised to, okay, raised to 5 so what will be the value of head loss number 3? Okay, 
Okay, so head loss number two will be equal to is equal to uh, 4.764 meters. Okay, so that will be head loss number three. So how to determine the elevation of reservoir C? So kanina, from A to B, how many pipes ba yung dinaanan natin? That is pipe number one and pipe number two. How many head losses? Head loss 1 and head loss 2. As you can see, from A to B, parang wala tayong pakialam kay uh, reservoir C. So in the same way, kapag gawin natin is from A to C, ignore uh, reservoir B in terms of the head losses. So this is head loss number 1, from reservoir A to the junction. Then from that junction, the energy head towards reservoir C, okay, that is... The same as head loss number 3. So, ito naman yung head loss number 3. From the junction to reservoir, uh, reservoir C. That is head loss number 3. So, we have the elevation of reservoir C will be equal to elevation ni A. Elevation of reservoir A minus, mula, okay? So, from the surface of A, papunta dun sa energy head, papunta dito sa junction. That is minus Head loss number 1 Tapos, from the junction Papunta dito kay reservoir C That is, minus Head loss number 3 So, what we have a What is the elevation of A? 50 meters Minus head loss number 1 Ito yan This is 2.178 Minus head loss number 3 That is 4.764 So, we have a The elevation of reservoir C I will be able to uh, 40, uh, 43.058 meters. So, yun yung uh, elevation, yung reservoir C. So, if we are doing an analysis of reservoir, again, take note na yung difference in elevation between two reservoir is considered as the total head loss. So, ang tanong, ilang head loss yun? So, ila, depende kung ilang ilang pipes yung dadaanan. So, we'll be having two head loss kung pipe 1, pipe 2. In the same way, pipe 1, pipe 3 from A to C. So, take note, difference in elevation of pressure bus is considered to be head loss. Then, can you observe the pattern? So, ano ba yung unang given kanina dito? Yung unang given or the first given is discharge number number 1. I given yung discharge number 1. Uh, if you have a discharge, you can compute for a head loss. You can create the equation of the head losses. Magagawa mo naman yan by observing the uh, elevations. You observe the elevations, you can create an equation of head losses to determine the, another, the other head loss. So from head loss, magkakaroon ka ulit ng discharge. So from the equation of the discharge, magkakaroon ka ulit ng head loss. So, ganun lang yung pattern actually when it comes to reservoir. If you have if you have a discharge, you can compute a head loss. If you have a head loss, you can co compute a discharge. So, yun lang. Discharge, head loss, head loss, discharge. So, this is our example.